Hey guys, welcome to Spelling for Thursday. And as you can see, I'm gonna do things a little bit differently today. I've, I've aborted the slides. I'll come back to them next week, but I thought I might try a few little, little tricks on this app um, for this lesson. So let's have a look at our learning intention across the bottom here. We are learning to use commas today. So we're gonna use commas to list. And we're also going to use commas to add a beginning clause. So there's two parts for this activity. We're going to use commas two different ways. So let's have a look at our APK today. So what I want you to do is think about this little bit of punctuation here. Not the one that sits up high. The one that sits down low. We call it a comma. What do we use it for? What do you know about commas? So you... I've already given you a couple of clues in the success criteria. If you want to scroll back a little bit, you might get a couple of things you can add. So what I'd like you to do in your book now is uh, you might need to go back. I've got it written here. You can copy it from here. Record your learning intention in success criteria. And then we're going to do our APK in our books here. So I just want you to list some different ways you could use a comma. So I've listed three. You might have more. There's there's a, quite a few different reasons why we might use a comma. I just want to know what you guys know. So I suggest you pause the video now and complete that stuff. I'm going to have some awkward silence. So those who aren't pausing are going to pause. Awkward silence begins now. Okay. Thank you to those people who have paused. Um, and that... You're gonna to need to upload that APK at the end, so keep that handy. Um, but let's have a look at our, oh, let me just change the title, new knowledge. So I've got a poem here, and this is a list poem. I thought I might link it in with um, some of the poetry we're doing. So if we have a look at the poem I've got here, in May, I may go outside to play may leave my coat at home, may fly a kite, may play soccer, may blow bubbles, may use sidewalk chalk, may plant flowers. What do you notice about the use of commas in this poem? And there's a big clue at the top. There's a big clue in our success criteria. That's right, listing. So this is a list poem. So each line is listing different things that this author is doing in May. So I thought this was a cool way to show you how we use a comma when we list. Now, most of you are pretty good at this already, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but after you list each thing, you need to put a comma, just like we have here, and record the next one. Does it have to be on a new line like this poem? No. If we're writing poetry, probably would be. But that's something we're going to consider later on. The other thing that's in this poem is, and if you go back to our success criteria, a beginning clause. So your activity today, you're going to do some listing, but you're also going to add a comma in if you see a beginning clause. So all that means is at the start of a sentence, we might have a short little statement that says it's normally related to time before, after, in, may. Um, that adds to the meaning. So this poem would be okay if it just said, I may go outside to play, I may leave my coat at home, I may fly a kite, I may play soccer. But the key thing for this poem and the key part for it to make sense is all of these things are going to happen when that person is in May, in the month of May, which we're coming up to as well. Um, that there is a beginning clause. So it's a part of a sentence. It can't be a whole sentence on its own. So in May can't be in a sentence on its own, but we can add it to this extra detail to make a sentence. There, I'll show you some more examples in a minute if that doesn't make sense, but that's just one example. So let's have a look at what I want you to do with that today. Um, if I just, I'm gonna get rid of that. And let's get our activity up. So you're going to, and I'm gonna make this full screen. You're going to 
do two things. Number one is that you're going to put these lists here. So if we look at the first one, it says football, basketball, tennis racket, cricket bat, baseball bat. It's already a list. You're going to put that into a sentence. So I might even give you the first one as an example. It could say, in my garage, I have a football, basketball, tennis racket, cricket bat, baseball bat. Full stop. We're just practicing, one, putting it in sentences, and two, using the comma to list. So there's four different examples for you to put into a sentence. Then you need to write two of your own sentences, creating your own list, okay? I'm not going to give it to you all the time. That part I think you're going to be okay with. This might be some new knowledge for you, though, and some new application. So a beginning phrase is what I just spoke about. In May, I may... Blah, 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 whatever was in the poem. This one here, let's quickly look at it. That one there. Um, down here, though, we've got a few more examples. So let's have a look at the example up the top here. So I want to look at this example. This person could have just written, I was running late, but they've added a beginning clause to say why they were running late. After sleeping in, I was running late. So when we add that, bit of information at the beginning we have to put a comma before we then say what our main information is so if we go down if we go down here we can rewrite these sentences with putting the comma in the right position so after cricket the team will go out for ice cream that one's similar to up there after sleeping in what's the beginning clause there after cricket we could say the team will go out for ice cream we can add at the beginning after cricket to say when so what you need to do is for these five examples you, all you need to do is rewrite it but you need to add the comma in where it belongs and then just like the other bit there's two examples for you to uh, include your own sentence two sentences that have a beginning clause in them all right after you've done that you need to upload both your APK and your completed your APK and your complete oh, I can't have both up and your completed activity um, and then your reflection is and I haven't actually added it here I want you to record a comment or caption with your work and I want you to say and I might write this in this color forgive my poor iPad handwriting how could you use commas and I should have my title here how you use commas in poetry. Let's link it to our poetry writing. So how could you use commas in poetry? It could be one sentence that I want you to caption or comment on your uploaded work. So like I always say, if you need to go back to each section and have a look at what you need to do for the APK. There's an example there. What you need to do for the activity. There was examples there. I've talked you through it and the reflection. Let's make sure we have all three parts of that lesson uploaded. Good luck today. Remember to ask any questions if you have them. But I think you should be okay with this. Enjoy.